Hi, this is Lena from myfashioninspiration.com. This is the second DIY in a row. The last time I did a DIY was uh, ripped jeans, and you can check it out on my channel. Also, for my Norwegian readers, I was recently in a Norwegian magazine called The Nye, and um, if you want to check it out, I'm in there, and I tell you all about my blog, and my closet, and my YouTube channel. So go check it out if you're in Norway. Today I wanted to show you how to make a three-strand necklace. What you'll be needing for this DIY um, are some different things in here. I'm not really sure what the name is, the official name. So if you do know it, please uh, comment down below this video and uh, let me know. I think they're called jump rings, but I could be wrong. But I'm just going to call them rings. And you also need these closure things. Are they called lobster hooks? I'm not sure either, so also comment if you know it. Uh, a ruler or a measurement um, device. Some uh, nice pendants. These are pendants that I just got off of old necklaces uh, at home. And I have about two meters of, of just necklace. Uh, I think two meters should be around 78 inches. And you also need some tools. Okay, so what you want to do first is uh, measure up your necklaces. I'm going to make three necklaces and I already sort of pre-decided how long I want each individual necklace to be so that they will hang nicely uh, once you wear it. So I want the shortest one to be 40 centimeters. That is almost 16 inches. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit longer just to make sure I have some... Uh, I can make some mistakes in between there. <laughs> the next one I am gonna make into uh, 45 centimeters. The last one I'm gonna make into 55 centimeters. 40 centimeters is about 16 inches, 45 centimeters is about 18 inches, and 55 centimeters is about 22 inches. Okay, so I have a ring here and I'm gonna bend it open. And I'm gonna start off by putting on the smallest chain. Then I'm gonna put on the second longest chain and you wanna end with the longest one. And it will look like this. Then you wanna close it up. Just bend it like this. And you wanna do the same on the other side. So, now it's a good idea to make sure that the chain is straight and that all the links are laying the right way. For the other side, you want to start off with the longest one. Then you put on the second longest chain. And then the shortest. down for you so you can take a look. You have then two ends like this. Take one of your lobster uh, closures or just closures. I don't know if it's called lobster. <laughs> it just looks a little bit like it. And um, you want to attach it to one of the sides of the rings. So you open it up again just slightly. So this time, you need to make sure that you close this ring properly. Okay, so now it is connected and uh, you basically, you have a necklace. You can also use it like this, which is actually quite nice. I wanted to attach some pendants on there to make it a little bit more personal and maybe a little bit more interesting. it and you close it off. Then you do the same with the second uh, strand and you just repeat the same thing in the last one. So there you have the end result. It's really easy to make, it's cheap and you can still put your own creativity in it. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I did more DIY videos, one of which was a necklace DIY, so make sure to check out my other videos as well. Bye!